Hi, good morning, Olivia. Morning. So, what's the first thing you do in the morning? I get up and I make the bed. Your favorite breakfast food? Fried bacon and scrambled eggs. What are three things you always have in your handbag? My sketchbook, my organizer, and my smartphone. Welcome to Wonder Facility. Oh, it's beautiful. So what are you currently watching on TV? I'm watching Westworld Season 2 and it's really epic. If you could meet one person, dead or alive, who would it be? It would have to be Leonardo da Vinci. What's the most memorable moment in your career so far? I would have to be working for Hermes. Why do you like industrial design? I love industrial design because I get to be an inventor and an artist at the same time. How do you best get inspired? I think the best thing to do is to not go around looking too hard for it. What is it like being a woman in a traditionally male-dominated industry? It's like bringing dessert to the barbecue party. What are your words of advice to budding designers in Singapore? I would say, don't be afraid to think bigger. What's your hope for local design? That we take over the world by storm. How do you get over creator's block? I switch tasks. Do you have a favorite color? Anything neutral. So how do you like your coffee? Ooh, I like it black. What's the best thing about the Wonder Facility? That it's a sanctuary and that I get to share this space with Hanwai. How did you come up with that name? I love the idea that I get to facilitate Wonder. Do you have a favourite spot in your studio? I do. It's right here. What do you like about it? I love the amazing view in the big blue sky. Name one thing on your bucket list. Swimming in the open ocean with manta rays. What's your dream project? That would be designing a concept store for a really amazing brand. How do you prepare for a busy day? I usually start the day with a little bit of journaling. But first we need a little bit of music. Do you have a favourite music playlist for work? We do, we have a Wonder Facility playlist. If you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be and why? It would be with my 5-year-old niece, Jay, who wouldn't want to have a second childhood. What excites you about the future? How technology is going to change everything. Alright guys, it's time for me to start the day. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks Olivia! Bye! Bye.